We have evidence tonight the state government is making more money than ever from speed and red light cameras. $20 million in just one month in September. That's a record amount. And it's grown now for four years in a row. It's the flash every driver dreads. Which is why Roads Minister Duncan Gay's announcement that he'd remove some cameras was welcomed. So far we've switched off 34 cameras. But 7 News can reveal total revenue from speed and red light cameras has spiralled to an all-time high. Drivers are being absolutely cleaned up by this government. In September 2010, cameras reaped $5.3 million. In 2012, it rose to 117 in September 2013, drivers forked out 13 million, and last month, a record 20 million, up 53% from the previous September. But that isn't the whole picture. Remember, police officers issue fines too. Last month, they wrote out speeding tickets worth $4.4 million. The government says many drivers are receiving bigger fines for driving at higher speeds, but... We don't want the fines. We don't want the money. We just want people to obey the red lights and to obey the speed limit. The NRMA says profitable cameras highlight problems. If we know there's a location that constantly books people, fix it. Fix the road. Improve the signage. Whatever has to be done so that the camera is not just there booking people, but acting as a tool to make the road safer. To help drivers avoid fines, the state government has a live smartphone app that shows drivers the speed limit wherever you are on the road. For more information, visit our website. Mike Duffy, 7 News.